Hey folks, what's up? It's Khazri here. Welcome to this tutorial. In this one, we're going to be creating this. So a very quick setup and uh, you get something really nice. And um, uh, let's uh, go ahead and get started. There we go. This is our uh, scene. I'm just going to quickly create a new Cinema 4D files. Let's create a, a simple cube. Enable fillet and let's go to something like I don't know five centimeters uh, looks quite enough and let's uh, hit C to convert the cube to a polygon object and the next thing is to go ahead and get started slicing our cube manually I am not aware of any plugin that uh, can do that uh, please if you know uh, drop a comment and tell me because uh, I don't know of any plugin that can slice uh, stuff uh, you know exactly the way you want and uh, you have to do it by hand when you want to get a very specific and custom stuff so let's uh, go ahead and get started uh, really simply uh, go to your rectangle selection tool select these edges it's not selecting them because you have to make sure you got the tolerance selection turned on and only select uh, visible elements turned off so uh, there we go here is our selection and then you hit M and then F which gives you the edge cut tool make sure you got this create and gun turned off and let's go to something like 10 subdivisions apply and this is what you're gonna get all over your uh, cube and this is um, quite enough for us okay uh, the next thing I'm going to my uh, polys again select your rectangle selection and let's uh, start uh, slicing this cube up uh, so I'm going to select this part make sure all the edges are perfectly selected that's great and then you hit U P and uh, you get uh, that uh, part that you have uh, had selected uh, completely uh, separated from the original cube and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the rest let's select this part control drag to deselect this part and hit U P and let's just do the same thing all the way U P for split and again U P sorry we have done a mistake let's hold make sure we have we just deselect this part U P and again control drag U P make sure to deselect this part U P and there we go hold on control to deselect select hold on control deselect up and hold on control again up and this is our final part and make sure there we go up now we have sliced our cube perfectly and everybody every slice is completely separated from the rest and uh, this is our original cube if I move it you can see and I just go ahead and hide it and uh, now if I go through and select the rest as you can see uh, these guys are completely separated now uh, the only problem right now that we have if I uh, move one of these slices you can see there is no up and down polys and we have to make uh, those polys by hand so let's uh, go ahead and do that I'm going just uh, to uh, hold on alt double click on this uh, lights and drag your mouse all the way down there we go and let's select our first cube and uh, go ahead and start adding polys and close this polys so make sure you are in the polygon mode and hit M D uh, for your close polygon tool uh, hide this one unhide the other one uh, make sure select it and close it up and down so we're gonna do this for all of our cubes and let's just do it a bit quicker I forget to select them so make sure there we go you just go all the way down and do this and uh, we're using a cube here but it can be anything really it doesn't matter 
uh, we're using a cube for its simplicity and uh, the ease of use and because it's a tutorial and we want to finish it as soon as possible so it could be a letter it could be a complex object that you can slice it up by uh, using this method so here we go and this is our final cube make sure to select it and there we go now we have uh, this guy is completely there and our cube is finished and I'm just going to rename this guy to cube original so we keep track of and then I select all of these other cubes uh, and it's time to add our fracture object I've been using fracture object in my last three tutorials uh, it is a very very useful and important uh, object inside Cinema 4D and you have to make sure you understand how fracture object works because it's really am amazingly helpful and you can do a lot of stuff with fracture object so I uh, want you to get the hang of it and really use it in your project because a lot of stuff that uh, can be done using fracture object it's impossible without it so I'm just going to select all of my slices and put it in the fracture object and there we go we have our fracture object right now and I'm just going to create a two version of this fracture object uh, okay so before actually adding fracture object, let me control Z a few times I'm going to hit alt and G to create a null from this slice and uh, let's, let's name them slice one I'm just going to control drag and these guys are gonna be our slice two and then hit NB to make sure we are in garage shading lines let me deselect my first slice for this slice I simply go ahead instead of uh, doing uh, uh, slice the cube vertically we can simply duplicate our node that contains our slice and uh, hold on shift and uh, rotate it 90 degrees there we go now you have two version one is here and the other is here okay so great now uh, we have a, uh, we need to actually create two fracture object let's just go ahead and work on these first cubes add it to our fracture object number one and here is our second cubes let's just rename this to fracture one and I'm going to create another fracture object and this one is going to be our fracture number two and let's put the second cubes which are vertically aligned right now to uh, our fracture object there we go now we have two fracture object and I can simply delete these slices now it's time to uh, start adding the effectors so let's uh, uh, go ahead and start uh, by first of all let me hide the second fracture object and work on this first one select your fracture object MoGraph effector and add a plane effector and let's see go to the falloff and make sure your falloff is set to linear and make sure also to change the falloff fall off direction or orientation to something like let's see plus uh, no this one is gonna be uh, plus y or minus y and the parameters let's see we definitely want to go in a negative direction let's move them this way go to the fall off let's go to negative y instead of positive y and go this way and now if you move your uh, f linear and play your plane effector as you can see this is what you get let's just work on this uh, parameters a bit I want to add a bit of rotation now it can be any direction that you think it's nice I don't want to add too much of changes also enable scale a check universe uniform scale and type negative one there we go and now if you move your plane effector this is what you're gonna get very nice and handy isn't it now uh, let's just go ahead and create a quick animation let's go to something like 200 frames for the moment and if needs be we add more frames let's control click on this parameter Y go to something like frame 90 which means three seconds and move our uh, plane effector and create another keyframe here and if you hit play this is what you're gonna get isn't it very nice 
Great. Now I'm just going to... Okay, I added a delay effector in my original setup and I don't think it would be quite necessary, but uh, let's just uh, go and add a simple delay effector. Well, this time we're not going to be uh, using a uh, spring method, which we normally in most our projects uh, use the spring method, but this time we're going to be using a blend method, which blends the uh, motions to their final uh, position. Let's go to something like 70 seven percent and if I hit play and let's make sure it has been applied yep let's get back to frame zero and you can see this is this nice motion great now uh, here is our first let's go to our fracture number two I'm just going to actually uh, create a simple expressor setup I want uh, when I uh, I want to have a setup like this when I disable or hide my first fracture I want my second fracture to be automatically turned on so let's uh, create a simple express setup right click cinema 4d tags expresso and let's uh, bring in our fracture objects and select your fracture object go to its basic tab uh, I add visible in editor and render control double click and also I want my second fracture and I want the same data in uh, this time inside uh, the input part so they get affected by uh, other nodes and now uh, I want this visible visible in editor and visible in render which are these two uh, lights here the first one is visible in editor and the second one is visible in render I want to alternate between them so let me uh, get a node called not node and we need two nodes I'm not sure can we add inputs no you have to okay there we go so basically what not node does it reverse the uh, output whatever it is so for example it's visible in editor we uh, put it through a not node and uh, it's not visible in editor anymore so this is what the not node does so if I go there okay so this is our express setup let me close it now if I uh, select this first fracture object and double click and turn it on you can see the second fracture object automatically turns off and if I turn it off as you can see the second one turned on okay which is great now let's just animate this while you quickly so we have our express setup done and the next thing is to simply uh, animate this uh, to while you uh, visible in editor and render so let's just go here and hit play and see where exactly our animation is finished okay about frame 105 I think it's a good place let's uh, control click on these two values and let's go to uh, 106 and make sure both of them are off so as you can see our second fracture object automatically turns on and let's animate those and now this is what you're gonna get you get the first motion and the cubes change and you can now apply your second falloff and if I um, go to the grass shading uh, without lines you can see that change you can there we go there's a bit of highlight changing as you can see when the cubes are uh, we uh, when we rotate the cubes you can see at this moment when they change there's a bit of highlight change that you can uh, work it out uh, in your compositing software so uh, now for our second fracture object let's uh, go ahead and add uh, another plane effector and this time we're gonna make sure to use again linear and let's go to uh, x direction and to a negative x direction now what we want to do okay let's go to the parameters and let's go to some Z direction and also go up there make sure you again use uniform scaling and negative one and also the rotations let's add some rotations here and if you now select your second uh, plane effector and move this is what you're gonna get but we work uh, because we want to uh, uh, gradually hide our cube this is the motion that we 
are looking for. So something like this. Now it's really up to you and you can change these parameters to get quite uh, different stuff. For example, it's really up to you. So for example, I can go there and now we're changing our falloff right now. Select the plane effector and move it. Sorry. There we go. I'm just going to rotate them a bit more and this is what you're going to get. Now let's uh, again go to our plane effector and animate this time an X direction about frame 117. I think it's a good place. And let's go to frame 180, something like this and move our plane effector. There we go. Now you can hit play and there we go. Now it is so nice, I think, and mm -hmm, it's changing to the second one. Now the time is just for rendering and basically adding lights and some basic compos uh, background, creating background and stuff like that. That I think it's really simple and uh, I don't want to waste your time anymore. So thank you for watching. Uh, by the way, guys, I released my first uh, premium course. Uh, creating a dual 3D motion graphics, the gift project. Uh, in the last 24 hours, about 14 students enrolled, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, and uh, you can uh, come here and uh, start taking the course. Uh, and uh, for more information and discounts, uh, codes, and coupons and stuff like that, please visit this video creating at once uh, 3D motion graphics, the gift project. I uh, give you some uh, options, and if there's a discount code, will be uh, updated. And uh, I explain and added the coupon uh, codes uh, information uh, down uh, on this under this video. And also here is the introduction and project overview for the gift project. Uh, premium tutorial series which you can uh, watch this is the uh, first lesson of the course which you can uh, watch it for free uh, please uh, get involved and uh, have fun so thank you for watching the tutorial and see you next time